Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of pterosaurs. One in particular, the flashy Thalassodromius. This ancient creature ruled the skies during the Cretaceous period and has captivated the imaginations of paleontologists ever since its scattered discovery. So sit back and grab a drink as we explore everything from the discovery to the evolution of this unique crested god of the skies. The holotype specimen of Thalassodromius was first described in 2003 by Brazilian paleontologist Alexander Kilner. The fossil was discovered over a period of time in several pieces in the sandstone of the Romado Formation in Brazil, which dates back to around 110 million years ago. The name given to this pterosaur hinted at its mode of feeding by skimming the water much like the black skimmer today. However, as we will discuss later, this may not have been the case. The specific name of this animal is also filled with meaning. Sethi refers to the Egyptian god Seth's crown. However, this is also a misnomer, as the crest mostly resembles the crown of Amen instead. Nonetheless, this discovery was significant not only because it added in our understanding of pterosaur diversity, but also highlighted the rich fossil record of Brazil. Thalassodromius belongs to the Pterosauria clade, specifically within the family of Azarchids. Azarchids are known for their large size and elongated necks. Furthermore, Thalassodromius was part of the Thalassodromia group, consisting of three species. Thalassodromius is particularly interesting as it showcases adaptations that suggest a lifestyle well suited to coastal as well as inland environments. Its evolutionary adaptations reflect the ecological niches these parasaurs occupy during the Cretaceous. Now, let's talk about what makes Thalassodromius so unique. The large, almost cartoonish cranial crest that could reach a meter long was three times larger than the entire rest of its skull when seen from the side. It holds the trophy for largest known crest of any vertebrate. Paleontologists are still debating on what this crest was used for. Some saying it was for thermoregulation, giving the network of blood vessels. Others say it was simply for attracting mates and deterring rivals. It's likely it was used for a combination of both of these. This pterosaur had an impressive wingspan estimated to be roughly 13 to 16 feet, making it the largest of its clade. As a pterosaur, Thalassodromius was covered in hair-like pygmy fibers that likely aided in thermoregulation to prevent heat loss. Thalassodromius was a medium to large pterosaur compared to others in its group. Its wingspan placed it among some of the larger flying reptiles, but it was not the largest. It had one of the largest heads of pterosaurs compared to its body, and four feet in length. When on the ground, it would be about six feet tall, enabling it to see over most shrubbery in its ecosystem. Let's dive into its diet. Thalassodromius was thought to be primarily piscivorous. However, later research suggests its robust beak and neck were more suited for preying upon small land animals, as well as some fishes. Its equal limb proportions, along with a flexible neck, further indicates a more generalized way of feeding. Its feeding behavior might have resembled that of modern-day herons, and not like that of the black skimmer, utilizing a combination of speed and precision to catch its meals. Behaviorally, Thalassodromius likely exhibited social behavior similar to those of other pterosaur species of its time. Evidence suggests that some pterosaur species nested in colonies, which may have offered protection from predators. Its impressive flight capabilities, given its long arms and legs similar to other azarchids, would have likely allowed it to soar over coastal waters and large areas of land searching for feeding opportunities. Its long appendages would have most likely allowed Thalassodromius to quickly maneuver while it was on the ground, possibly aiding in the capture of prey. In terms of life history, while direct evidence is limited, we can infer that Thalassodromius had a relatively short lifespan, possibly living to 10 to 15 years. The growth rate would have been rapid, with young pterosaurs reaching maturity quickly to take advantage of abundant food sources. Juvenile Thalassodromius would have possibly been the only instance of this species being able to skim the water to feed. However, this would be short-lived as they matured quickly. Thalassodromius was not just a remarkable pterosaur. It was a master of its coastal habitat. From its striking appearance to its unique diet, 
This creature gives us valuable insight into the diversity of life that existed millions of years ago. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Thalassodromius, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more prehistoric explorations. Until next time, let me know what prehistoric animal you would like to see next.